With an economy as volatile as the one that exists today, we are constantly at risk of losing our money and investments. Inflation, shortages, oil and raw material price increases, a war between Russia and Ukraine, and even a pandemic. All these scenarios have created a lot of uncertainty in the global population, impacting different investment markets and putting the financial stability of millions of people at risk. The Nasdaq Composite Index had its worst month in almost two years in January, falling by 9%. The bond yield curve inverted slightly in December between short-term and long-term bonds. The cost of energy rose 32% in the last year and the price of gasoline remains a major concern for many. Given this, it's impossible not to wonder what will happen with our money and investments if we don't take action. With that in mind, we have created this episode in which we'll give you 7 tips to protect your money from the instability of today's volatile market. Hello everyone and welcome to Nova Rice, your channel for financial education. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button for more videos like this. But first, let's take a look at something very important. Recent announcements related to inflation. The inflationary index in the US continues to increase, worrying many people throughout the country. This not only represents risk for individual finances, but it's also a threat to large companies, which in the end could translate into million-dollar losses for investors. According to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Consumer Price Index CPI, increased 8.5% compared to the previous year, thus surpassing the 7.9% figure that took everybody by surprise in February. Gas prices rose by 18% and food prices went up by 8.8%, a figure not seen since 1981. Only in March, inflation rose 1.2%, also driven by the increase in airline tickets, housing, auto insurance and medical care. The economy and investments fluctuate based on people's confidence, and with such a high and constantly increasing inflation rate, it's difficult for people to trust the national currency and economic policies. Therefore, it's very important to always be one step ahead to protect our investments. Let's look at the top 7 ways to achieve this. Number 1. Diversify with unrelated investments in the world of investments, we always hear that maintaining a well-diversified portfolio is essential to protect our money from possible market downturns. But what exactly does this mean? Regardless of the industry, investing always involves risk, and this risk is even greater in times of volatility. For the diversification of our portfolio to be effective, we must put our money in different unrelated markets. For example, bonds, commodities, real estate, cryptocurrencies, precious metals, and stocks. Remember the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? This is exactly what we are referring to. Investing your money in different markets is the best way to protect your money in inflationary times or in a market downturn. Number 2. Establish an investment plan. Before you start investing, it's very important that you have an investment plan. When it comes to investing, things shouldn't be done blindly. Before investing your money, make sure you do a detailed study of the conditions of the market in which you plan to invest. Whether it's the stock market, real estate, crypto, or any other asset. In addition to that, you need to analyze your own finances. A good investment plan should be based mainly on understanding your financial conditions, setting attainable goals, and setting an investment budget. Once you know this, it'll be much easier for you to find the type of investment that best suits you. In addition to that, it's also important to ask yourself the following questions. How much money are you willing to invest? How much money are you willing to lose? How soon do you expect to see a return? 
Getting professional investment advice doesn't hurt either. It's important that you always stay up to date with market updates and educate yourself to be able to understand and better protect your investments in anticipation of future changes. Number 3. Invest with long-term money. When investing, you should always think long-term. This will allow you to set realistic goals for yourself and not be disappointed. Remember, earning a good income takes a little longer than you think. This point applies especially to the stock market. If you're looking to invest all your money in the stock market hoping to get good returns quickly, then the stock market is not for you. Why do we say this? Well, getting dividends from your stocks can take some time. And if you use all your capital to invest in stocks, how will you cover your existing and upcoming bills? Imagine how complicated things can get if the market goes down. Only in 2015, the market fell by 10% and stayed that way for several weeks, putting many people in trouble. And although the stock market tends to move much faster, we cannot forget moments of constant declines, such as the first half of 2020. When it comes to stocks, make sure you invest money you won't need for at least a year so you can truly see how your investments perform. Number 4. Internationalize your investments. Did you know that there are more than 60 major stock markets in the world? That's right. When it comes to investing, you always have to look far beyond our borders. Many stocks from overseas markets, such as Spain, Australia, and the UK, usually pay dividends up to 3%, which is a very good option compared to the dividend yield curve in the US, which has been under 2% for some time now. What does all of this mean? It means that although the difference may seem small, your money can grow much faster in other markets. You may even be better protected during internal inflationary periods. Of course, investing in other markets represents a greater challenge, not only geographically, but also language-wise. On the other hand, there's also real estate, buying properties in other countries that are attractive for tourism, business, or future growth could generate good income for the rest of your life. Number 5. Reduce permanent capital losses. As investors, we always have to be prepared for the possibility of loss, whether it's the loss of a good tenant, a decline in rental values, a fall in the stock market, or the price of cryptocurrencies. Losses will always come up and that's something we must learn to accept. Now, when it comes to losses, we can divide them into two types, short-term losses and permanent losses. Short-term losses are those that occur suddenly for a specific period, for example, a temporary drop in the stock market. Permanent losses, on the other hand, are those that usually occur as a result of difficult situations that led us to make wrong decisions. For example, when the stock market was trending down, many people sold their stocks out of fear that their investment would shrink. According to Daniel Kern, Chief Investment Officer at TFC Financial Management, the most important strategy to implement during downtrends is to do everything you can to avoid permanent losses. What does this mean? While it's understandable that we would want to alleviate financial losses, we need to understand that investment markets correct themselves over time and we can't let our emotions get the better of us. If we sell our stocks or properties during a difficult situation, we could be turning a temporary loss into a permanent loss. On top of that, Research from TFC Financial Management showed that investors who sell their stocks during or immediately after a market downturn have lower long-term returns than those who wait until the market recovers. Number 6. Prepare for the falls and rises. There will always be tough times regardless of the market you choose to invest in. This is something that we must assume from the beginning. It's important to always be prepared for falls. The combination of stocks, the bonds, money saved, and some real estate 
can be the solution to navigate difficult times in a more comfortable way. Of course, there are also markets that offer very good returns at specific times or that show a more pronounced evolution in the long term. Since the lowest market record in 2009, the two S&P 500 stock sectors that have risen the most are companies that provide non-essential consumer goods or services, which are up 639% and the technology industry, which has grown 565%. The non-essential consumer industry has benefited from strong consumer spending, being driven primarily by companies such as Amazon, Home Depot, Netflix, and Nike. On the other hand, the technology industry has seen an enormous evolution for more than a decade, offering very good returns. The main drivers of this market are Apple, Meta Platforms, and Google's parent company, Alphabet. When you evaluate the evolution of the markets and make your investments taking into account the ups and downs that could take place, you'll then be a more intelligent and successful investor. Number 7. Ensure everything you can insure. Insurance is one of the most important things to have when it comes to real estate investments. A property is a physical asset and therefore can suffer damages, risking all the capital you invested. The type of coverage needed will depend on the type of property. For example, you can insure your home with a homeowner's policy and your business property with a commercial policy. And as your investment portfolio expands, you should also consider expanding your coverage to include protection against natural disasters, fires, or any other unforeseen catastrophic event. Protecting your investment portfolio is possible, and this is something you should work on, especially in times like today's. Recent years have shown us how unpredictable the world can be, and anything can happen at any moment, changing the course of our lives. How do you protect your investment portfolio? Leave us a comment below. And since you're here, don't forget to check out this next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.